Legend of Laguna. Um, my throat still hurts. That's a given. Because I am only making it worse by uh, talking to you guys. But I don't want the feel to be bored. Boring. And since I actually have nothing, uh... How dare you touch my butt? <laughs> of a kid like you. Me menu. What did you say? I could forgive you if you admit that I'm too sexy to ignore and apologize. Huh? What's this kid? Is this kid dreaming or what? I can't stand it anymore. any of them. Especially if there's a lot of fight fighting. And it's not picking anything else. Oh, the best dancer in whatever. We don't have time to be playing with a kid. I agree. We can't waste any time if we're going to help Lynn. Sorry, but we have to get going. You said Lynn? Then you guys are going to rescue Lynn? How do you know about that? Because I hear, I heard it from Kate, but the people of this city are all chickens, right? So I'm going to make a riot on their home hideout. And then those bastards will give me a hard time. I guess they didn't take me serious because I'm alone. You know what? I'm going to go with you guys. Hey, you don't have to make that. You don't have to make such a face. I'm sorry. Sh the way she actually talks is smartassy. That's why I'm trying to pull that off. Just leave her alone. Let go. Hold on. You guys know where the hideout is. Right? It's somewhere in the valley of the corrupted gravity, isn't it? Wow. So naive. You make it sound easy, but you don't know how to go through such a smell of a mess in a place without someone like me who's totally knowledgeable and totally pretty. Besides, you need permission from the king just to enter the valley. Don't you know that? 
what are we going to do? Uh, Dart? This girl's serious. Uh, she can come. Are you serious? See, Rose knows what she is. We don't find out exactly what her and Lloyd are until later on because we meet uh, her fiance. I feel sorry for the dude. But uh, back to Final Fantasy VII. It's the only Final Fantasy I have a full AI or a full AU of because it is uh, the only one that is uh, flushed out as much. Okay, we're going back to Blitz. See, I'm supposed to be 17, so I'm low level compared to uh, her, but I still make things easy. Double smack. Huh. Hey. <laughs> My lagoon symbol is gone. rescues her and gives her a note to give the cloud because he's not completely uh, unsafe or he's not completely insane he has his calm moments and his insane moments uh, when he rescued his clone She's like a daughter to them. Uh, she's actually for Jazzu. Even though they're both clothes of Sephiroth, it is slightly, I would say, incest, but at the same time, not. I'm not sure what it's called. But she's for Zazu because Zazu is the only one who actually understands her. And she actually works at Honeybee yes. as a dancer. Burning rush. The guy who owns the Honeybee won't actually allow anyone to touch her because he knows Cloud and he doesn't want Cloud to kill to kill him. I don't want to let you out of here, And, uh, like Lynn, she, or like Lina, oh wait, that's 
That's one fork wild. Uh, like the one that Torment's in. She, uh, is under the care of Lena. Because by the time Avic Children comes around, she does have a mansion just outside of Midgar. <laughs> okay, I gotta let her out. So I will be right back. Okay, please come back. And I'm totally on breath. Who's for uh not Lloyd, but the one that turns into Sephiroth with Genova. Genova's freaking head, as they like to say. Um Okay, we got to find Mellow. But, uh, my character for, uh, the leader of the clone. Uh, he has a crazy girl. Because the way I have her, is she loves to irritate him because she knows he's bad turn good more like Seth Roth knocked them off knocked all three of them inside the head and told them to stop M.I.A.U. because Seth Roth actually does not live in Migor he refuses to he lives uh out in the middle of nowhere but he does come to Migor every now and then
I think so. But, uh, this one character that's where Kadaj, that's the same, Kadaj. Every time Kadaj comes into Midgar and she's out and about, because she helps Aerith, because Aerith doesn't die. Zethroth doesn't actually kill her. He actually allows her to uh, summon Holy to stop him. But, uh... Yeah, he's telling us about the whole the Stardust that we're collecting. Which, there's two in the castle when we can get into the castle. But, uh, this character, if Kadaj and his group rides in to Midgar after helping Cloud with his, uh, business, he helps Cloud. Or the three help Cloud, even though Laws is childlike, because he has Zethroth's child personality. Uh, he actually doesn't help. He babies. He actually helps the children in the city that are homeless. He runs a uh, orphanage in Midgar because he likes children. Kadaj Church. I mean, that's the end. Item shop. Nope. Jewelry shop. One off. But, uh, this is what my character does when Kadaj, uh, is coming back from a delivery, she'll actually come up behind him while he's getting off the bike, or she wouldn't even let him get off the bike. She will actually jump attack him, knock him off the bike, that Zazu actually saves the bike while his brother is on the floor with a girl on top of him. And she loves to rub in the fact that He's able to turn into Sethiroth, even though Sethiroth doesn't care. Sethiroth actually, uh, when he sees the two, because Dark really, really, not Dark, Zazu really, really, really gets irritated with her, but he's blushing really badly when she gets really close to him. He can't hide his feelings for her. And she knows this and uses it to her advantage. So. And uh, Cloud actually lets it happen. Because he'll be in front of. He'll get back before the, the boys do. And stand in front of. Seven Heaven but 
but, uh, I mean, everyone knows Zazu and her are a thing, and Erka Dodge, because Zazu's girl, she'll come up to him and press her head or her body against him, and he will wrap her his arm around her, patting her head, because in their relationship, uh, they're both silent, and they barely show affection out in public. And when they do, it's mostly, uh, they're touching each other. Like, she's on his lap, and they're hugging each other, or she's trying to eat while he has his arms around her. Something similar to that. Not, a uh, pervertedness, but more cute and innocent, uh, affection. Because out of all my seven characters, pairings, uh, Zazu and Alex are the, are the two that are innocent of the bunch. Because, uh, Lynn is a, being reworked, but she's slightly a bitch. Still, I'm still gonna have her have bitchy moments where she puts a blade to Cloud's face or her gun to his head. But other than that, she never actually harms him. She threatens him, but never harms him. And he actually doesn't do anything against, or doesn't do anything. He allows her. It's not that she affects his social society. She actually calms it down like how Aerith was able to in the remake. If you played the remake, that is. But that's also due to the fact Cloud, her, and Tifa grew up together to a certain extent. Wow. Uh, governor. Oops. Um. Oh, I'm not doing anything. Oh, now I am. Ooh. Professor. Uh. sister is the one who for Seth Rollins, Zach, or Genesis. I set it up so it's open for whoever wants to play one of them. looking for her because of the child now however if she gets with uh, Genesis and the child is his uh, Genesis after crisis core and he disappears yeah he disappears you don't actually kill him yeah warrior but I don't care I will play a uh, reunion eventually but, uh, my head really hurts. 
I probably won't do another video after this, so Monday you'll only get two videos, with this being the uh, last one. I do apologize, but uh, Monday evening, depending on how I feel, you'll get videos Tuesday. Uh, so Jess is actually goes to the looks for her. Zach is the only one I have not changed his, uh, story. He's still, uh... I'm not telling you what happens at the end of, uh, Crisis Core, but... Let's just say, Cloud... Not only does he have a uh, people society, where he can't, uh, social society, he also has, uh, his mind is also effed up because of the Genova cells. And he's Zach's living will. Now, if you guys think I should actually rework it so, uh, that doesn't happen, where Clock still has his, uh, his mental issues, but he's not a living will, let me know. Because depending on uh, how that works out, depends on if... I actually like Zach getting with Aaron, believe it or not. I do like that pairing. So, even though Zach can be paired up with my miss, my character that's gone missing, that's the older sister. Who's a, uh, she's a missing, a, uh, she's, uh, missing in action. Because she's a soldier, like Sethroth. I do not like Angel. That's why she's not paired up with Angel. Uh, Kanan, my A used Kanan. Uh, the timeline actually put Seth Roth with her. Uh, I haven't created a character solely for Genesis, and I don't think I will. Because I got one for Cloud, Vincent, Zazu. Kadodge, Sethi, uh, I think that's only the only ones. Because the little girl actually, uh, the little sister of Lena, she doesn't get with anyone. She's too young. She's about, uh, Denzel. She's one year younger than Denzel. Or she's around D Denzel's age, so she's not paired up with anyone. She's... Hell, she's about 14. She has crushes here and there, but... No. Not when her big sister adopts Denzel. Yeah, Linda adopts him with Cloud. Uh, if you haven't played uh, Average Children, it's a little line that Denzel says. She act he actually, it's towards the very end when he, in the water, and Cloud does the, the water thing on his head. It's very faint, but he calls Cloud Dad. It's very faint, but he does call Cloud Dad, and Cloud nods. Yay, we got the pass. Okay, so the princess has a... Uh,
Well, I can't go anywhere, so... I missed two, uh, stars. Oh, I can't go nowhere. What am I supposed to do? On your, oh, on your way out of the castle. Okay, she's a star uh, reader. I mean, she's very pretty. I don't remember who can't who Albert marries uh, in the game, but he does get with one of the sisters. Uh, I, let's see, Netheroth, Cloud, uh, Vincent, Zazu, Kadodge, yeah, I think I only have five, uh, no, I have one other OC that's, uh, technically a, Okay, she's gonna talk about her sister. Uh, this one, uh, a this one character is with an AI that all the Final Fantasies are on one world. Well, technically, the first uh, six were on Earth. Then they started changing. So, but it's when all the planets are merged together, and there's no Spira. Although, uh, there is a tower, uh, cocoon, there is that cocoon, and there's a floating island. So, 13 does happen, and the floating islands, uh, three, I think it's three. The uh, planet has multiple uh, kingdoms. It's in the medieval time period. Where there's ca well, it's medieval slash modern because there are cell phones and such. So it's uh, high tech slash high magic base, and the aeons or espers. They're called aeons in this one. They're not spirits. They're actually uh gods from another plane.
from, from another dimension. So, uh, all the summons from every Final Fantasy is able in this AU. I mean, yeah, technically Mike's characters from every game is in this world with their the guy they're paired with. Like, Rosalie is for Furion. I got interested in Furion because of Dissidia. But she gets with uh, Furion even though she's a knight to the Emperor. I do like the Emperor from 2. He's one of my favorite bad guys. Except he's not evil in this AU. He actually is wanting to conquer the planet, but he changes his mind when not only Furion tries to stop him, but every hero uh, over the every hero around the globe tries to stop him. So he backs off. He teams up with Sethroth for a little bit, but Sethroth turns against him, so again, he backs off. Uh, there are crystals in this AU. Every kingdom has one of the four crystals. There's four certain kingdoms that have the four crystals. Unfortunately, the uh, wind crystal disappeared. Because it's, uh, the kingdom that had the wind crystal was the dragon kingdom. Bayamot was the king. But, uh, this random character that could be paired up with anybody from the Final Fantasy lore, she's a goddess. From the, uh, from the summon lore, or from the planes, or the other dimension where Lobithia and all them are technically from. She is actually from there, and she's by, she is the daughter of Bayamon. But she's actually a reincarnation of a forgotten goddess, who's on a quest to find her father. Because the kingdom, the dragon kingdom gets destroyed one night. Baymont goes rogue and disappears after his wife was killed. Because his wife was a witch. She was murdered in front of him and his daughter disappeared. Unfortunately, her da his daughter was uh, taken by Lobithian and was raised by Lobithian. So, that's our first summon. Okay, Louis trying to get the dagger. Save. <laughs> I think my fever's gotten uh, worse. That's why I'm not doing a third video. Uh, Oh god, the old man gets along with menu. That's scary.
But uh, that's it for now. I'm going to go check my temperature again and crash. Because my head really, really hurts. <laughs> and I really don't feel good. And hopefully by this time the video gets posted, I will be better. And I will be recording again. But according to my grandmother, the third day is always the worst. And Monday is the third day. So, uh, depending on how I feel Monday, depends on if you're getting videos Tuesday. But, anyway guys, I'm out of time. I'm going to bed. So, leave me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.